Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honot Duck and we are playing Stellaris on Insane Difficulty with the newest DLC Apocalypse. Welcome back to our campaign with the Draconian Imperium. We're still fighting against the Scourge, last time we at least managed to get them away from our borders. Um, I've gone ahead and like tried to trade away uh, our research to a bunch of AI empires. Um, let's hope that the minerals actually keep flowing in. I'll just try to reinforce our fleets, and we're gonna like go and bombard down a couple of uh, planets today. Um, so Guerrilla Force One, we're gonna move into the Fiance, take that away from them, so the AI ca has another attack uh, vector. That's something that we want. We have some minerals coming in. So yeah, let's reinforce Hammer 5. Everything's looking decent. Let's reinforce that one. That fleet is already at full strength, so it's mainly that one that we need to care about. Okay, Korea Force is already there. Like, we have plus 40% um, sublight speed, which is interesting. We're going to go after their station in that system. Come on, guys. You can do it. I know that station is not really something that can stop you. And we're just going to try to remove all stations that they have around this. Trying to not get... Uh, trying to not meet their fleets is going to be a thing. Because I would like to keep that fleet. Do something like this. Just an aggressive stance fleet. Because that'll, like, cost them. They have to rebuild. Oh, come on, no. Why do you guys even come in with 20k against 300? I mean, it's valiant, but it's also useless. It's just useless. You're getting crushed. Makes no sense. Okay, let's go for the hammer here. Yep, taking out station after station is my plan, at least for now. And the thing is, I can, like... Oh, make an ass at least brought 40,000 in here. That's something. That's why I wanted that uh, system back, so that the AI can attack. The good thing is also, it, as long as that system is open, I can send my fleets through. Just something that I want. Mm, how are the replicators coming? Replication center. How's, it, how's that going? Okay, most of them are actually done. Interesting. So that's just producing 200 minerals. Alright. Well, we could also get three more. Oh, yeah, because I lost a bunch of star bases, of course. That would definitely factor into that. Hmm. Yeah, this really is not doing as well against them anymore. Lost its edge a little bit. Might probably have to rebuild it so that it regains the edge. But then again, nah, the more damage they deal, the better. And the shorter the time they do it in. The better as well. Aggressive stance, aggressive stance. We, Oh yeah, we still have these guys, but they're not moving. It seems we have just a bunch of immobile Prothorin fleets just trying to guard their, their space from the looks of it. I'm going to try to do that. We're going to start down here, I think. And maybe we start in Defiance and then move out. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a fleet of theirs. Entering orbit of defiance. I think they're gonna. I think they want to to build something new in there. Building Grumium Starbase. There's a fleet in here as well. Yeah, as long as these are neutral, they can use them. That makes them very dangerous. Like there's a collector fleet in there now. Come on, just look into the system at least, you fools. Yeah, we basically took away the AI's safe staging ground for this kind of stuff. 
Looks like that Miko Nas fleet at least took a chunk out of that uh, Prothoran fleet. Entering Orbit of Defiance. Oh, wait. Oh, they're moving into Orkrom. All right, then. Yeah, you can you can leave. I'm going to remove that station, then move further south. Moving to the Manward Station air system. Right, they're just rebuilding their, their space over here. Manward is that one. So we're definitely causing them to, um, causing them having to work again. Fleet is at full strength. So all our fleets are at full strength right now. Oh, at least we're like pushing heavy for the building of them all. Let's go up to fast speed. Okay, that's another system lost for them. Complete. That fleet is almost out. I probably have to pull them back before they're done with their run. Well, they've already done quite a bit of damage, and it'll take them a while to rebuild those. And it seems they prioritize that before um, or above actually getting new territory, which is interesting to me. We still have our domesticated Prothoran fleet in here. Oh, it would actually tell me how far it will build up. All right then, so with 62 or 42. And 14 of 20. I don't think the small ones really do a lot. Okay, that star base is gone. Moving on. How far down are you? 53.6k. I mean, they're also going for battle after battle. Complete. So that fleet is full. Just waiting for two more battleships to be built. And I guess also they kind of need to merge up with those fleets. Yeah, it's just two battleships. It's kind of weird to me that the... Oh, no. Yeah, Hammer 5 is getting a ton of ships merged into it. This still looks off. That one Nero-class battleship is what we're missing here. Hmm. Tell you what, we'll just build one Nero class and merge it in there then. I think that should that should deal with this. Construction complete. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The worst case happened. We're getting confronted by one of the big fleets. Come on, Ed. Ah. Stick to the tactics, you fools! But, boss, there's a shiny new fleet! Ugh. Finish the job. Oh, we're having... Entering over to Vanico. Okay, so they're, they're swarming out again. But that'll that'll give them something to do for a while. Hmm, okay. They're moving in here to rebuild something. I have my I have my five fleets ready to go. Uh, let's also push this to reinforce. Where are you guys? Okay, just in the forge. Just hanging out. Chilling, repairing. Good. Oh yeah, and all these guys are now up in arms about things. Building that one last battleship. Yeah, it takes longer than all the destroyers getting built in there. Technology secured. Okay, we've got longer edict duration, I'd take that. Um I need a lifespan. Oh we never researched the alien zoo. That's kinda hilarious. Why do we get it now? Do we... Yeah, we probably have alien um, pets on our ringward, maybe. That's weird. Um, yeah, leader lifespan is the best, I guess. Plus five years. Complete. Okay, so that fleet is happening. How's this going? They're patching. Oh, yeah. They're defending that constructor with a full fleet. 
which means I have to jump in there and go full ham on it if I want to strike inside their territory. Construction complete. Okay, so that, that battleship should be somewhere now. Where is it, though? Oh, with fleet combat. These guys are actually trying to stop these guys. At least that resets the building progress. And apparently they're moving in onto Gizarak now. That's something. That's something gained, I guess. Defiance is going to be open for a little while longer. So, where's the battleship that I built in here? Where is it? Show me where that battleship is. I just built a Nero, a Nero class battleship. Where's the bloody thing? Oh, I built it in the Draconian Forge. Okay, so someone has... Yeah, right. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Pull that battleship out. That's not what we want at all. No, that's also not what we want. Uh, let me have a look at this. Did that change the design? Yeah, go, go away. No Nero class battleship for you. I want that merged into this one. Okay, merge with Hammer 3. And that does it. Now we are at full strength with all those. And I think that calls for an all out attack. At least that's what I'm thinking. Just three more ships, and then we're ready. And we strike. Ah! Interstellar make an SM guy. I mean, I gotta say, they're really, they're really doing it now. They're not strong enough, but they're doing it. Construction complete. Let them get away a little bit from the gateway. Oh no, they're just gonna camp out over here. Okay. No time like the present, then. Let's do it. Feel the power of the Draconian Imperium. Okay, now, if I just return all these guys. That was like, <laughs> that was a hypergorea move. 6k, 1.5k, 2.7k, 1k, 5.5k, and 760, okay. Oh, all our strikecraft were left here. That is that is hilarious. <laughs> We're so so fast out of that system that our striker have just decided to stay. Yep, that makes sense. Take us home, Papa. You forgot us in the Defiant system. We're like we're lonely. <laughs> uh. Aggressive stance. Moving to the Avalum system. Yeah, don't worry. I haven't forgotten. I want to go after the planets. The the better our fleets are, the stronger, um, the better we can take uh, go after these guys. Construction complete. Uh, building a battleship here. Building a battleship here. These are all just destroyers. Yeah, these guys are just hell-bent to um, suicide. Hell-bent on suicide. Oh, man. And they really want to close their space. That is definitely something that uh, stops them from advancing. Just taking out those chunks. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, we're collecting we're collecting minerals while while this happens. So that's pretty good. Just gonna be a little bit awkward when these guys like try to merge up with us. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing this guy is, yeah, moving into defiance. So we're gonna take out that base. Moving to the Avalon system. They're gonna send that constructor in there alone, which suits me just fine. I should probably lock that system down still. It makes the most sense. Come on, build those ships. Why are these guys a little bit slower than the others? Is what I want to know. Construction complete. Guess I'll never find out. Okay, we have something. Oh, Lumos. What? Did, did someone leave? All right then. I mean, you don't have to notify me about that. People change their jobs all the time. Carcass has died. No. That's not good. We're gonna get rid of the science ship. I don't need people in science ships anymore. It's just not a thing. If I need one, I can just build one. Don't need to pay the upkeep. Construction complete. Yeah, it's kind of futile to wait for that one battleship now. Let's just move in. Should only take a second. That battleship will just join up with us. Okay, and that's the worker gone. Shall we just send one of our own workers in here? Mm, maybe. What one in Eye of Horus? Wait. Oh, someone else built this. The Shazarek databank. Okay, I mean, you're welcome to it. Have at it, buddy. That is totally fine by me. Okay. Right. Let's move on then. We're going to take out the station in Gizarak. Um, go after that fleet over here. Okay, yeah, we're going to we're going to wait at the exit. These guys are incredibly fast. Incredibly fast with that uh, construction shroud boon. That's just insanity. Yep, okay. Good. That's that one battleship trying to merge up with these guys. Come on. Let him catch up. It's impolite. Come on, people. Okay, we're still missing one battleship, but that's nothing that should stop me here. Hmm... So I think we move on down that arm, which means we move on to Electra. But maybe I actually put the Guerrilla Force into the other direction. We don't need the Guerrilla Force with this fleet, I think. Let's go to fast instead of fastest, so I have a little bit more fine control. Avalam system, Avalam. As long as they're not moving on my space, I have basically free reign. And now that this is under control of another empire, I really don't have to worry about them jumping fleets over there anymore, which is good. Okay. Crushing that fleet. I like it. Come on, guys. Take it out. And all the while, we're basically collecting minerals for a full rebuild, so I think we'll just keep at it. I think we caught a constructor in that system too, which would be pretty nice, I think. Moving on up. They have, they have no more planets on that arm, which is good. That's, that's what I wanted. What? Yeah, okay, sure, you can have the Telda Crystals. He's actually paying a lot, and I feel kind of bad for them. They're reduced to one planet. Actually, they have three. Still, they, they are not the power they used to be. These guys are moving to the Gitzerak system. But yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter all that much that we destroy more fleets. I mean, it helps the AI if we take care of the fleets, but we really need to take out the planets, because that is the thing that the AI doesn't do. It's just not as good at focusing things down, I think. 
is what that comes down to. Taking out Andek is going to be gnarly because they can reinforce through the gate all the time. What is that? Why? Why on earth? Come on, get out of there, dude. Did I really send someone to reinforce like that? I am almost certainly didn't, but apparently that's what happened. Okay. Hmm. Fighting another station, causing more work for their constructors. That's all we really need to do. Because they need to protect their constructors. I have that guy return to somewhere. We have that science ship. Hmm. John, you can assist research on the capital. I think that's going to be good. Okay, another station is gone. Now we're going to move on to one of their planets. Ooh, we the max for minerals. Holy cow. All right, I think it's time for an additional fleet. So well, let's just go ahead. Oh, damn it. I can't build a Titan anymore, right? No, I can. Did we lose one? Um, Titan. Nope. We have the amount of titans that we want. Interesting. Okay, then. Well, we'll start that fleet off by building a titan. Actually, no. We're going to start that fleet off by building a... Ingratus Corvette. Because then I can push that, like, super fast. Taking out more of their stations. Oh, yeah, cutting off their supply lines is the best thing we can do in that situation. Trying to merge with Imperial Hammer 4. Well, he's not he's not managing to do it. Complete. Okay, so this is gonna be Imperial Hammer 6. It is going to be commanded by a new admiral. I I really like aggressive. It's very nice. But then the hull and armor regen is also pretty good just for operating in enemy territory. This is kind of nasty because we rely on the combat disengagement. So not really something that I want. I think we go with aggressive. And it's going to be... Admiral... Drinkiness for Elevenus, one of my patrons. Uh, you're going to have the honor to command the very powerful Imperial Hammer 6, <laughs> which currently consists out of, uh, of one Corvette. So, Hammer 6. These guys have 10 Corvettes, 19 destroyers, 10 battleships, 7 Neros. Um, so I think that's how we're going to do this as well. Ten Corvettes, add a design to the fleet. We're going to go for the Jeffrey Maneras, um, instead of the other ones. So that's like 19 of these. And then we're going to add some Maximus Phallus. I think we had like 10 of those? Is that the way of it? Yes, 10 of those. Um, add seven of the Neros. And add one of the Titans. Now, which one do we want on there? I think another Retiarius. Is probably best for this fleet if we have one of those um, doubled up that's that's best because then they can't flee and I kind of like that idea so looks good reinforce the fleet yeah, it cost us 50,000 so one 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 of our fleets 50,000 minerals I guess that's how we can estimate our losses okay so that station is gonna go down how's the Korea force doing Pretty well. Man, these guys are just out here for a land grab. The rest of the galaxy is like, we gotta fight the Scourge. And the Shazerak data bank is like, ooh, more territorial opportunities. We gotta get in there. Which is weird because they're like robots, but maybe, maybe they still think there's some profit to be made. 
So, I'm gonna bombard that one down. Uh, we're gonna leave the hammer for here. We're just gonna move on with the rest into the index system. And hammer four is gonna bombard that planet down. We're just gonna, I really wanna rush down that arm, take everything out before they can send their fleets after me. I mean, with the gate, that is certainly a bit of a more difficult proposition, but I don't really see any ships that are stationed inside their space that could reach a gate very easily. I can probably bombard that thing down before something happens. And that guy is, like, trying to merge with Hammer 4, which, um, this is going to make his life a little bit easier because that fleet is going to remain stationary. And that's all that I really need here. I'm also going to take out one of their fleets, apparently, which makes me supremely happy. Okay, guys, come on. We're, we're gonna... Hmm... I don't wanna... I don't wanna leave a single fleet bombarding that planet. Because they can... they can jump out of the gate at any point. And... yeah. Not... not really what I want. We're gonna set the Draconian Forge for this one as well. Still trying to build up, but... I mean, we push out the build orders. It's all going... So we're going its way. Oh yeah, we're normal speed, that's why nothing's happening. So bombarding the planet down over here. Bombarding the planet down over here. We could, I mean, probably send some ships to take out stations around here. But yeah, I I like our defensive position in here. Even if they send one of their big fleets through their gateway, we can still push back. These guys are doing excellent work. Rhinus Orsonus. Just crushing it with the Gorilla fight. Okay, yeah, we have tons of debris that we're not researching just because I don't need the things that we have on it. So, just not gonna bother. Yeah, my planet is going down. I mean, we just have that, that chill bombardment stance that pacifists have, so that is not all that easy. Hey! Channel energies into an avatar. Come on. Okay, that is interesting. So Draconia, the vision is hazy and indistinct, but there can be no question. It is Draconia, our capital. The great cities look different yet familiar, even through the obscuring wall of flames and smoke. Thousands, no millions of mutilated bodies litter the streets, all of them draconian. The stench of decay is unbearable. Your future. Nothing living remains in the ruins. In the sky above, massive orbital installations, trailing smoke have begun a slow and inevitable descent towards the planet. Are we witnessing one possible future out of many? Not one of many. It shall come to pass. As surely as the sun rises, it is your destiny. The vision ends as quickly as it began, leaving behind a miasma of swirling psychic energies. Let's pull the let's pull the avatar. Why not? It has coalesced into a space-faring entity in orbit above Draconia. Yes! I have my first psionic avatar. Ooh yeah. <laughs> it is also a Titan level thing. What do you have on you? Psionic blast. Ooh, tons of armor penetration. Oh, the Scourge is not gonna love this one. That's 25... Th oh, no. Oh, no. It's only shield. It has no armor. <laughs> They're gonna eat this one alive. <sighs> okay. It was such a nice idea. Can I merge that into another one? Yeah, I can. So I can just use that like a normal fleet. How fast are you? Speed 175. How fast is one of these? 335. So it's relatively slow. How big is one of our Titans? 180. So it's even slower than a Titan. Okay then. Okay then. I mean, I can just use it to defend, really. I don't think it does cost any fleet power. It has like very minuscule upkeep. We'll just keep it in Eye of Horath. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll use it to like, join the, the queen. No, where's the hammer? Over here. Complete. We have a domesti domesticated queen over here. Maybe that's something that we want to do. Yep, 
more stations are going the way of the dodo. Oh, that's the last one that you have on your plate. We're going to have you take out Sabic as well. And then we're going to call it good enough to bring these guys home complete. through the gateway in Defiance, which is still open. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. You have still another order. All Construction right, complete. Almost done with body in that planet. Come on. Cleanse that thing. If I had, if I were in the new patch, I would probably shield those planets. Okay, that is actually a really cool graphic, but it is kind of a shame for the planet. Like, it looks like we have to nuke it completely from orbit. So bring that fleet in. We are almost done cleaning up Andak as well. Construction. And that's gonna be rough for the scourge, I think. That is gonna be pretty rough. And even more fortunate, I think... Oh, no. I mean, all our shipyards are... No, actually not. I think we're just going to go for a quick refit or, like, reinforce run here. Since we're in a system with a gateway. Okay. Korea fleet is done. Oh, and they took the defined system again. Oh, with two strong fleets. Right. I mean, I guess that would be the way to do it for them. Hmm. In true Gurria fashion, I think we're going to have these guys jump into the Tazri system, take that away from them, or at least open it up to, to other um, AIs. Uh, we gotta we got to push through that gateway. we like got to go back afterwards. Construction complete. Come on, guys. you got the range going for you. You can do this. I believe in you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Construction complete. Ah, uh, that was maybe not such a good idea. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have you guys just return home. Go to the Draconian Forge. Use the gateway. Get out of there. That went well. Um, we're going to reinforce our fleets in here, which is already happening. I like it. Construction. Uh, we haven't really taken a ton of losses, so that's totally fine. We can spend 20,000 to reinforce the Guerrilla Force. So I think all in all, it has been a pretty successful episode. Like, we've been... Why... Exactly... What happened? Did you... What? Told you where you needed to go. You're definitely not doing it, guy. That's... Why? I mean, they're probably gonna be able to do it, but... I told them something completely different. I'm not sure why they jumped into that system instead of using the gateway and going home. It is an open gateway. Nothing stopping them from returning. Okay, I mean, yeah, sure. Take out that station. I'm all for it. But we definitely would have taken fewer losses if that was not a thing. Okay, so that happened. Um, now you're returning to the Tazri system. What? Did I, like, did I give them that as an order? Complete. I most certainly didn't. That's just weird. I mean, they're getting reinforced as as we are uh, as we speak. I lost a couple, but not not a ton. Um, I think next time we're gonna push further down here, try to take their capital planet out, and then slowly push them back. I mean, with each planet, we hurt their ability to reinforce. We still have the the solid victors. I'm actually not sure if I want to keep that one. We have some rich ancients in here. One ship. Attacking Prothoran Constructor. Okay. You do you, buddy. You do you. Um, for now, though, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.